How's it going, super friends? Welcome back to my channel. What we have here today is the brand new DC Multiverse Bat Raptor. Front of the packaging, DC Multiverse Bat Raptor. You got the window, you can sort of get a glimpse of what we're gonna get on the inside. Looking at the top of the package, you can see more of what we have on the inside and more DC Multiverse logo stuff. Left side, DC Multiverse and the Bat Raptor. And the right side is exactly the same. Surprise, surprise. The back of the package has images of the other figures trading cards that have already came out in the series. The Supermans, the Batmans, the Harley Quinn, the Green Arrow, and then also a little image of the Bat Raptor. It's the same one they use everywhere. And then here's the bottom of the box. It's all white. Kind of boring. Here, let me fix that for you. There we go. Bat Raptor! <laughs> and also, here's what it looks like from the inside of the box, looking out at what I see. And with all that out of the way, let's open it. Slice it here, 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 and then slide it on out. And now that it's outside of the packaging, you can see that it's got that blue comic book theme that all the figures had going as well. And you can see the card right here in the back. Just carefully remove the card, and then cut all these twist ties. Oh my gosh. Do you think they put enough on here? And here it is. FYI, the Bat Raptor made its first appearance in the Batman Who Laughs, issue number one. It was a miniseries, I read the whole thing. It was pretty darn cool. The Bat Raptor really didn't play a huge part in it. However, it's still a kind of cool looking vehicle. It almost has that sort of feel like it's kind of inspired by the tumbler, but also like a classic Batmobile design. Looking at it from the behind here, you can see they've done actually a lot of work to make this look rustic and Batmobile-ish. I like the fine designs of this, and it even has tail lights. I like the back of this. This is very, very cool. The cockpit for this thing is also equally as detailed as the back. You got little bat symbols right there. You got a little monitor right here for Batman to look into, the little seat that he lays down on. Looking in here, you can see that all the way back there, the figure is going to fit right in there. And then look at the details here on the side as well. Like, McFarlane did do a good job designing this. It's not that I think that it's a poorly designed vehicle. I just feel like it's something that nobody ever really asked for, and the Batmobile is what we wanted. But if this is a taste of what... McFarlane can do when he sets his mind to designing or creating a bat vehicle, then I think that we're definitely on the right track here. Look at the bat-shaped brake pads in there in that kind of weathered metal look. And by the way, the tires are actually made out of rubber for the Bat Raptor. And again, the same really cool looking detail for these rims. They almost have that 1980s muscle car rim look. The tires for the Bat Raptor actually have like a bat motif to them. They actually look like the kind of treads Batman would have on one of his vehicles because he puts bats on everything. And here it is. Oh, geez, let me adjust my camera. Oh, no. Ugh. That's what it looks like from the bottom, equally as detailed. It's got that undercarriage weathered look to it, so definitely a very cool looking design for it. And then also, you could pull it out and it extends in, out, in, out. Before we go any further, here's the front of the trading car with an image from Batman Who Laughs issue number one. And here's the back. It's got the bio and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's add it to the rest of the multiverse trading cards. I think the trading card idea is actually really, really cool, by the way. I can't wait after three years to see how many trading cards we get. This is going to be fantastic. And now let's see how it looks with the mostly McFarlane DC multiverse Batman. I say mostly because the cape and the neck piece and the head have all been swapped out. Let's see... Getting him in there shouldn't be too hard. He just kind of lays in there and is there, there's no steering wheel. What does he grab onto? Hmm, I guess he doesn't really grab onto anything. He just kind of shove his arms in there, pull the cape back, make sure he can see where he's going. The Bat Raptor with Batman on it, looking pretty fantastic if I do say so. Although yes, this is not the Bat vehicle that I would say that most of us have asked for, as I've mentioned previous in this video, it certainly does look very cool. Todd did a very good job. And if this is an omen of things to come, if he does indeed have a Batmobile planned, I feel like he's probably gonna give us something really, really cool looking. And if you do customize your figures and go with the cloth goods cape, I feel like that looks even better than having the plastic cape sticking out the back. Having this cloth goods cape hanging there is really, really nice. So I think overall, out of all the Batman vehicles that I've ever owned, even though, again, this isn't something I asked for, I certainly feel like it's probably one of the best. It's got rubber tires, the details look absolutely fantastic, and it actually fits the figure in the way that it's supposed to. 
But what do I know? I'm just one guy, and I'm sure you're going to have your own opinions. Let me know down in the comments section below. Do you like the Bat Raptor? Do you just think it's a missed opportunity to give us a Batmobile? Or do you think he was just testing the waters to see how well a vehicle would sell? And if this one doesn't do very well, maybe he won't do a Batmobile. Also, if you enjoyed this video, found it a sort of useful, kind of fun waste of time, then hey, click the like button so I know I've done something right. And if this is your first time here and you want to see more of my DC content, hit your inbox. Then I invite you today on behalf of the rest of the Super Friends to join the DC squad. Oh yeah, and I've also got a new t-shirt in the shop for sale. It's the Kenner Superpowers Collection comic ad. The bulk of it anyway. I took the writing and the figures out, but I figured that might be kind of a fun shirt for people to wear and I've never seen it before. And with that, I'm done. So thank you for watching everybody. Have a DC day and take care.